baseball fans and welcome interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the Minnesota Twins going up against the Atlanta Braves all right we'll be back to get this one started after this so almost ready to get underway and today's starting pitcher Spencer Strider what should we keep an eye on here well Boog along with great stuff that he has he has consistency I mean this guy's got a proven track record you know when he takes the ball and goes out there to compete he's going to give you everything he's got unload the tank try to pitch deep into the ball game and he almost always finds a way to make it very tough on opposing lineups even when he doesn't have his best stuff and that is the mark of a true competitor. Swings through that one for strike two. Got to let that change up. Oh, got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Next pitch way upstairs. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner win. With two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Royce Lewis stands in now and watches strike one. One out, base is empty. Struck him out looking. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Byron Buxton stands in with two away as he takes a ball. a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Max Kepler at the plate. That oh. one misses. And what that out. is ball one. Not giving him a pitch to hit there isn't a bad thing. He's dealing with a great first pitch hitter up there. Buxton on the run. He swings and fouls one off. Buxton off the first with two away. That's and that's down it away. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. A big strike. swing and a miss. Two ball, two strike. Oh. He goes down looking. One left for Minnesota. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. here in Atlanta and towing the slab Pablo Lopez what should we keep an eye on here he's a dominant pitcher but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots that's where we see him get touched up if he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer now in for the Braves Ronald Acuna Jr. why to kick the pitch and a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Let's see you win. Just misses. It's a good take. Bounce 
cuts up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to hold on to it, and the defense comes That's away that. with nothing. Second baseman. Here is oh, Ozzie yeah. Albies up to him. Ball. In the dirt, and the runner stays where he is. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Runner at first with no outs here. Lopez throws over, and he's back in safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Right into the play. Too low. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And the righty deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. At the belt and fires. Off balance feed. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Yeah, and he looked a little tentative on that swing. That Looks like he didn't get pitch recognition. And tried to slow his bat down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play. Have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Now a screamer into the outfield. Knocks over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break, but look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position, so they'd love another base hit right here. Second and third, one gone. Here's the veteran first baseman, Matt Olson. That's a little bit low. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. Two in the dirt, 2 and 0. Oh. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Go. This is inside. Ball three. Marcelo Zuna next to bat for the Braves. Two on, one out. Fouled off. He was late. And the right hander deals. That one to first. And he takes it That's himself enough. for the out. That is good. Good. The designated hitter. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. Now with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. You have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. Two on, two outs. Little chopper rolls foul. The pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Ball. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Throw to first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. End of the first from Truist Park. No score. Back at Truist Park, top of the second. And the batter now, Carlos Correa. Correa. 
Strider back to work. Swing and a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. The nice job of going the other way. Carlo Santana. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Lifted in the air down the left side. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Matt Walmer will hit next. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. First and second, no outs. Here at the top of the second. Next One, offering two. way upstairs. One, that one missed. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Kicks and deals. Hit on the ground might be two. And he can't come up with it. Stay. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Ball oh, one there. Well, he's just given up one three ball. straight hits, no and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Flips the outside corner. Strike one. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right oh, below the oh. knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. out there he's really good hitting the baseball the other way so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch clearly he had him full here's Alex Kirilov Yeah. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Left-hand hitter waits. To short, could be two. R.C. Yep. over to second. Almost here. That's two. This team is ready to make a play with the bases loaded. Excellent job of execution there. You turn the double play, and the inning is over. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second and the play. Michael Harris. The right-hander back to work. Late on that fastball. Harris, 23 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. And that's off the inside edge. One and one. And that misses off the outside edge. That one is absolutely belted. Walmart going back. And that one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. 
Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. So here's Murphy now. Yep. Swing and a miss. Oh Strike my. one. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. All Next right. offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Keeps the event going with a foul ball. Bounce to the left side. Correa. In plenty of time to first. That's one out the bottom of the second. That again. The left field. Here's Jared Kelman. Especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Harris stands at third with one gone of the inning. Ground ball up the middle. Passes the first. And the first run of the game comes across. Well, there it is, a little old school manufacturing of a run after that double. Ground out to get him over, and another ground out to get him in. Nice job to get that RBI. Here's Orlando Arcia. Orlando. Arcia measures six feet even, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was born in Venezuela. Right through there for a strike. Two out spaces empty. Next offering misses. Ball one. No. Now a check swing, but he held up. Next pitch in for a strike. Two and two. Two outs. Just off the outside edge, Ronald Acuna Jr. on deck for Atlanta. The wind of the pitch. Out there to center, Buxton moves under it. Drops into the glove, and the inning is over. So they get one run, one hit, no errors, no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Braves one and the Twins nothing. On to the third inning. Here's the second baseman, Edward Julien. Edward Julien. And he deals. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. And there's a foul ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. Left hand batter waits. One, Not two. close with that one. And the count is one and two. Ah. And that's the first out. 
Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Lewis ball. in the box with one away as one he takes ball no one. One down, base is empty. Down. Pitch misses there, and now 2-0. Oh. Well, it looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at-bat strikeout. Oh, That's can't right. get out of the way of the fastball, and that's going to sting. Oh, I'm just happy to see that got him in the shoulder instead of up a little higher. That was so close to being dangerous. Buxton, the next to hit, takes ball one. The Twins trailing by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swung on, belted. Acuna going back on this one. Makes the catch up against the wall. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Now batting Max Kepler. He's 0 for 1. No, Just missed. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Kicks and fires. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. Fights that one away, still one and two. Ball and two. another ball. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Push. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Twins wind up stranding one, and it remains 1-0. Set for the bottom of the third, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And here it comes. That one fouled off. 2023 was a special season for Ronald Acuna Jr., the unanimous MVP in the National League. After putting together the Ball, first ever 40-70 season in baseball history, safe to say he's going to be a special player for a long time. No, Good eye right the there. Too low. There's a strike. The pitch. That Full misses. Count. And it's three and two. Ah, Lopez three. gets the swing of the miss. Lead off hitter gone in the third. Ozzy Albee is up to the plate. Albee. And that one fouled off. Swings and misses, struck him out. 
Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning. But no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Big little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with the base runner. Could become dangerous. Kepler racing over to make the catch. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On to inning number four. It's the Braves one and the Twins nothing. And we're back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Carlos Correa. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Way high there. 1 0. Well, these twins, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. The strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. Next to switch hitting first baseman, Carlos Santana. And he's already singled in this game. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better ball. than it actually was. That misses one the ball. zone. And the count even one and one. Ball. Next offering is outside. Three. Right down the shoot. Two and two now. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. One down, base is empty. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Payoff pitch. In the air out to center. Harris has a beat on it. Two down. Matt Walmer, the next twin up to him, reached on an infield single his first time. This is off the inside. Ball one. The Braves up by a run. Top half of inning number four. And that's off the inside edge. Ball two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Bounce to the right, and it foul. goes just foul. That's inside. Right side, Acuna after it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Back here with my pal Siggy. Bottom four, here's a big power threat. Matt Olson. One of the things that helped Olsen in 2023, a stance adjustment, and that as well kept him more balanced for less swing and miss. That one not close, and it's 1-0. You know, these Braves showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Next offering is in for a strike. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Smoked on the ground a second. Throw on to Santana. And Olsen is set down. Now, the deputy Here's Marcelo Zuna. 0 for 1 so far. And first offering is fouled off. Oh. 
in the air fairly deep to right field they got it for out number two now got it. center fielder Michael Michael Harris next up for the Braves a double and a run scored his first time up it's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers this guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone and he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup two down nobody on that's in there this guy's not wasting any pitches hitters got to get into swing mode this is a good time to expand the zone throw something maybe down in the dirt Next offering upstairs. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Wouldn't chase that time. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Line, and that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Nice now job of driving that pitch hit. the other way on oh. the line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he no, did it perfectly. Murphy in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Harris off of first with two away. Check on the runner, and he's back he's in safe. safely. And the 1 0. -oh. And that one is in for a strike. Two outs. Foul ball there. And the pitch knocks that one away and we'll do it again fly ball down the line Kepler on the move won't get to this one it drops foul and the pitch swings through that one it's a strikeout Braves strand one, but they still lead it one nothing. Back here in Atlanta, ready now for the fifth inning, and now for the Twins, Ryan Jeffers. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because. He's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. And that one pulled foul. Well, these twins doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. Starter's <laughs> leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. Righty to the plate. Outside. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. Oh, Got him left in. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, just excellent location on that inside yeah, fastball. Yeah. Really yeah. locked yeah. him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in, so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball, but either way, that's a really nice pitch. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball popped up. Arcia makes the grab and there's two gone. Back to the top of the lineup. And here's the Twins leadoff guy, Edouard Julien. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Strike two. Look at Sharp just a strike away from five shutout innings. Not even close there. Going to count one and two. Oh. 
And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Twins retired in short order. They still trail 1-0. Back at Truist Park, here's the left fielder, Jared Kelman. Kelman, 24 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Hard ground ball base now. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Right there. Couldn't get any air on right right but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing mean, was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Orlando Arcia, 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Splits the plate, and that's strike one. Oh, one. Nobody out. Runner at first. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. The pitch. One, yeah, that two. skips in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, Correa over to first. Out. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The right fielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Just off the outside edge. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it That's and get it done. And a rare talent. So much fun to watch. One out, a runner at second. Last half of inning number five. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is down low. 3-1. Man at second. And he walked him. Take your bait. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Oh, the second baseman. Ozzy. Ozzy Albies. Next up for the Braves. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And fouled off. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. Two away. So first and second with two outs. Here's Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one's in there, and it's 0-1. And, two on, two outs, Ball. and the curve is down and in. Ball and that's two. off the inside edge, and that's ball two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball. That's off the mark. And that's ball three. Ball. First One pitch strike. strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Ah. Late on that fastball. Okay. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Stays alive. Mm -hmm. 
Hard hit right side. Whips it to first. Out. Inning over. Two left for Atlanta, but they hold a one nothing lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now here is Royce Lewis. Strider back to work. Ball one. Slider misses outside. One ball, no strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. Olsen steps on the bag, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now back the center field. Byron. Here's Byron Buxton, one for two. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Ball Misses outside. off the play, and that is ball one. And another ball. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Kelman makes the grab. And there's two away. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Max Kepler. That's in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. A wind of the pitch. One, two. The Braves leading by a run, and we're the top half of the sixth. Two, Wouldn't two. chase that time. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. Albies over to first in time. That's the third out. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Braves one and the Twins nothing. Well, we go bottom six, and now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. Olson, who gets a chance to play his home games in Truist Park. It's a pretty neutral ballpark. Fastball in for a strike going along. Activity in the bullpen. Jay Jackson up and loosening in the pen. Peel bar getting cranked up as well. Sliced hard, but foul. The pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. The wind of the pitch. Right side, hard hit. Fires over to first. Out. One away, bottom of the six. Now that, the designated hitter, Marcel Ozuna. So now here's the DH, Marcel Ozuna. No, and that one outside. just misses a ball and no strikes. Base is empty, one away, here in the bottom of the six. There's a strike at the knees. And now the count one and two after the swing one and the ball. miss. Oh, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough ball. to get that barrel to. And another ball. Huh. Got him looking. Ooh. That's a strikeout. Fastball inside just freezes the hitter. I don't think he was ready to pull the trigger. A lot of times hitters are looking away. And that one locked him up.
Michael Harris. Next up for the Braves. Pitch ball misses, one. and that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. That ball misses three. the zone, and that's two ball, ball two. Definitely no a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one you tip your cap. Ah. Swing and a miss as he chases that one, one darting out of the zone. Fouls one off. Two and two. Line drive base hit. And that extends the inning. He was all over that one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Lopez checks over to first, and he's back. Here's Sean Murphy. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Two outs. Runner on the go. goal. Pitch misses. Throw. Oh, save. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Two one. And it is two and one. for Atlanta they lead it one nothing new inning getting started and here comes Carlos Correa this lineup is having a tough time finding a good rhythm at the plate their swings are disjointed which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition high fly ball shallow right field under it is a Cunha to make the grab and Correa retired, and there's one down. Carlos Santana, the next twin up to hit. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Looking to get the tying run on base. No. One ball, one strike. Pitch ball. misses, and it's two and one. Two ball, one strike. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. One down, base is empty. On the ground to third. That's out number two. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. <laughs> now the left fielder, Matt Walmer. No. Just off the inside edge. 1-0. On the ground at first, Olsen handles the chance. He takes it himself He's to the out. bag, and that'll do it. Still in total Look command the on the mound with He's seven going. shutout He's innings. Going. Seventh He's inning going. stretch time. It's the Braves one, and the Twins nothing. Jay Jackson comes on now, gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here.
Well, one run game leading off Jared Kelvin. The pitch. In the air, left field. Well, sizes this one up. And there's one down. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. The batter the number 11. 11. Shortstop. Orlando Garcia. Next up for the Braves. That clips a corner. Base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seven. That one way outside. One and two to count. The shortstop takes the ball. ball. Great job of Two laying shot. off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. The pitch. That okay. one misses. Counts full three and two. In the air, left field, Walner gets under it. He's got it, and there's two away. The right fielder, number 13. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And that one clips the corner. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Pitch misses, and it's one and one. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little turn on the fastball. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Braves go down quickly here, but they lead it one to nothing. We go to the eighth, and here's the catcher, Ryan Jeffers. Here comes a pitch. Foul off down the right side. Kicks and deals. Ah. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. No Raysel Iglesias, the closer, is getting loose. Ball. Slider misses outside. Ball. And now two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Okay. And another ball. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Now a rip into left center. No trouble here, puts it away for the end. One away. Fell off the bat, it looked like they might get that tying run on base, maybe even extra bases. No dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. And now the Minnesota designated hitter, Alex Kirilov. That's ripped into the outfield. Squeezes it, and there are two outs. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run, but no reward right there and just going to have to sit on it. Well, just about yeah. to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. You'll one. one Backed one. off the plate that time.
That catches the outside corner. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Ball. And another ball. Trying to hold a one-run lead. And we're at the top of the eighth. Oh. Swing and a miss Ooh. struck them out. Eight innings, eight zeros as the shutout continues here. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Braves one and the Twins nothing. And we're back. And now it's going to be Ozzy Albies. Jackson, 36 years old, and he was a ninth-round draft pick back in 2008. First pitch doesn't find the zone. You know, these Braves, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've been lining the ball all over the ballpark, and unfortunately, sometimes it's right into a glove. But still, they've hit nine line drives so far. And that's something they should feel very good about. And a pitch. And now two and one. Speaking of those line drives, you can't get too discouraged when they don't drop in for you. It's important to remember that you pretty much did everything right, and that's just baseball sometimes. And that's in the dirt. Ah, Got him looking. Three. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at like that one. Third, third, third time he struck out in this oh, one, and definitely an individual Boy. performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And now Austin Riley. One down, base is empty. Strike on the outside. And a count is 0-2. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Slider got him for strike three. Now well, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike. And that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to. But right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Olsen inside. stands in now, looks at that one inside. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Not Whoa. close with that one, and it's 2 and 0. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. Rio. And there's the automatic. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Two down, nobody on. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Correa over to first. And Olsen is set down. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Braves. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. Back here in Atlanta, here's Royce Lewis. Strider back to work. That one missing inside. That pitch is downstairs. And the right-hander deals. And a base.
base hit on a line. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Didn't get cheated on that swing and squared it up perfectly. Came off the bat at 111, and when that's the case, odds are very much in your favor as a hitter. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Spencer Strider, done for the afternoon. Really solid performance out of him as he leaves with a slim lead. We'll take a break. New arm when we get back. Marcel Iglesias out of the bullpen. Save opportunity for him right here. He's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Buxton in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And he deals. Swing and a miss. The two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. One and two here. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Another one, two. Got him! And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Kepler stands in here, takes ball one low. Way to lay off that pitch down. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Off and that here. one off the outside edge. One strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Iglesias throw over, yep, he and he's it. back safely. Right-handed reliever. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So it's their last chance in this one. Carlos Correa, the next twin up to hit. One for three. Here goes the runner. Pitch is high. Throw to second. He's safe. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. With the tying run at second, here at the top of the ninth. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, One comfortable ball. or not, One these strike. are the situations closers they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. The Twins down to their final strike. Ball. And it's even up. Tying run left stranded at second. Well, this was all about the pitchy 
pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind them to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.